scout Andy, and part of being a good scout is being thrifty. An example of being thrifty is saving money by making your own car repairs. Behind me, we have a 2014 Dodge Dart. It's having an air conditioning problem, but I think it'll be an easy fix. So let's get to it. So the problem we're having is that it's not blowing at all. If yours is, if yours is blowing out hot air, then that's a completely different problem. But if yours is not blowing at all, then it's usually the blow motor. So let's go ahead and dig in. So the blower motor is hidden behind this panel right here. So if you were to go, if you put lodge your fingers behind the panel and remove gently, then you'll be able to get it out. After you're done with that, you can you you get the felt that's underneath the dashboard and remove that, and then you and then you have access to the blower motor. So once you remove the panel and the felt, you want to you want to look up there for the blower motor. The blower motor is round and has two wires coming out of it, specifically a red one and a black one. Now how you can test that is your blower motor is that you, if you bang on the back of it with something then and it comes back on, that's how you know it's your blower motor. So this is what your blower motor should look like. So I already, I already crawled up there and, and banged on the back of it a couple of times and it came right on. So that's how we knew that it was a blower motor. So we bought a replacement one. Now it should have three screws in it and it also and it should have two wires out of it. And whenever you're undoing it, remember to undo the screws and uh, unplug this or else you get or else you get shocked. <laughs> okay, Put on that air conditioner. So hot. Did you get it? Yes. Uh, Ta da! Ta da! Let's take a look at it. Hold it up. It's huge and old. It's been sitting here since September. And it's gross. <laughs> Ready for the new one? Let's just throw this one in the garbage. Anybody need an old blow motor that didn't work? You can get it for two dollars. <laughs> so this is the new one. It actually would like this one. This is pretty cool. Let's try to get it up there. Let's try to lodge it in there. To be honest. Hopefully. There, got it. Need three screws? Yep. Alright. So I got the blower motor in. And now I'm just tightening the screws. Now remember whenever you're doing this, remember to plug in the connection thing, the thing that I showed you. And or else the or else you actually won't be having air conditioning no matter how many how much you bang on it. So let's continue on this. So we got the blower motor out. So the old blower motor had like a little case on it, like a little protection case, but the new one has already has one built in, so you probably won't need that. So anyway, so the last thing we need to do is see if it works. So let's test it out. Please work. Can't point all the air conditioning out me. Wait for it. What did that cost us? It cost us about forty dollars, and we saved a whole bunch of money. I mean, if if I were to come up and ask you, hey, would you like, hey, hey, would you like to give me forty dollars or one hundred and fifty dollars? Which one would you pick? Well, I think it's a lot more easier installing this than listening to someone say your car's broken. So that would be a thousand dollars. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and keep scouting. <laughs>